coming up, a five classic sprinting mistakes. If you're in too large a gear, you won't be able to get that initial jump and acceleration needed to get up to speed as quickly as possible. Churning in excessively big gear will also mean you lose the element of surprise on your rivals, essentially opening the door to defeat. Select that gear and pedal, churning slow won't win you a medal. As vital as not overgearing is not spinning out on too low a gear. Ideally you should feel the bite as you drive the power through the pedals and it's not uncommon to shift up the gears as your speed increases. If you spin out you'll be in danger of not unlocking the full potential of your power as well as looking like a strange cycling woodpecker in the process. Don't spin too light, you need to feel that bite. On this occasion you've done everything perfectly. Your timing was on point, your jump devastatingly fierce, your technique textbook perfection, your speed overwhelmingly superior. The result never in doubt with the win in the bag. So don't blemish that special moment by forgetting to zip up your jersey, forever marring your finish line photo. Think about your zip or you may wobble and show a nip. Ooh. This is the classic of all cycling fails, a clangor of epic proportions and a moment to haunt the unfortunate protagonist for the rest of their cycling days. This blunder isn't the preserve of amateurs, oh no, it's happened to some of the finest riders in the world. Eric Zabel, Tom Bonin, Caleb Ewan, Tom Last. When lifting your arms, be sure that you've won, otherwise you risk being rolled by someone. Unless you're sprinting up a climb, stay off the hoods at all costs. Except if you'd like to make things even harder for yourself by scooping up the wind like a lycra sail. So grip the drops and stay low. The way to go is to keep things nice and aero. Do you know what, Matt? I have never felt quite so knowledgeable about a video subject as this one today. Well, let's put it plainly, we were two of the finest non-sprinters yeah. of our generation, so no wonder we know yeah, quite we, a lot about not sprinting very well. We know what we're talking about when it comes to sprinting mistakes. Yeah, we sure. certainly do. Uh, right, if you are yet to subscribe to the Global Cycling Network, you can do so now by clicking on the glow, which you will see on the screen somewhere now. Now for another couple of sprinting videos, this time from people who can actually sprint very well, in fact, the finest sprinters of their generation. Click just down here for Mark Cavendish's race sprint tips and click just down here for Marcel Kittel's training sprint tips. And don't forget to like and share this video.